Casper's number one for New Country, My Country 95.5 in studio. It is Doc. And Prairie Wife quarantined out on the prairie. Okay, we had a special moment we shared over the weekend, Prairie Wife. The video of the, the sweet lady who was singing outside of the assisted living center who did a performance on the sidewalk and then found out there was a hospice patient that wasn't able to attend. I, sh- I dropped this video on Facebook and come to find out it's Sarah Davison who's on the phone with us right now. How are you, Sarah? Hey, guys. It's great to hear from you. Listen, we f- there are so many things to ask you. First of all, um, we didn't realize, but you have like a real connection to Wyoming. Explain a little bit about um, your connection with Chansey Williams and Dimitri Moon. <laughs> well, um, I actually played with Chansey back um, several years ago. We played at Cheyenne Frontier Days and uh, down at the Grizzly Rose a lot and out in Vegas uh, for the National Finals Rodeo. I played piano and sang harmonies with Chansey and uh, he actually moved to Nashville where I live currently and uh, worked down there in the music business and that's how I met him and started playing downtown with him and we all became really good friends and uh, Demetra actually is a fiddle player there in town and so I know her through a lot of the Wyoming connections too so Wyoming is honestly one of my favorite states so yeah <laughs> well let's let's talk specifically Sarah about this video that I came across how did how did your performance at the assisted living center happen so uh, I, I started out by playing at an assisted living where my grandmother is and I did a porch concert for them and then a couple days later a couple of other places reached out and so I went up to Red Oak, Iowa uh, near my home and uh, there's an Alzheimer's unit there and an assisted living there and I set up my keyboard and a microphone on their front porch and they just opened up all their windows and all the residents came out and sat in their chairs and I did a concert for them and uh, it was just an absolute blast and uh, I could see their smiles through the windows and, you know, they'd wave and I could kind of hear them clap. It was a little different singing into a half-closed window, but um, I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, the part that touched me is you learned that there was a, that there was a hospice patient that was not able to attend uh, your performance uh, and hear that. So tell me what you did next. Yeah, so they told me that Dorothy was her name and she was 99 and Dorothy was on hospice that she wasn't able to attend the concert. And um, I said, well, let's let's find Dorothy's room and so we found her window and her nurse cracked her window open and of course she couldn't get out of bed but she was very much awake and alert and I talked to her through the window for a little bit and uh, I started just singing hymns to her and um, at first I I thought she she kind of closed her eyes and got quiet and I thought she had fallen asleep and then I saw her mouth moving with all the words to the hymns that I was singing to her and I thought no she's totally here and it was just a really sweet precious moment I will never forget it well this is me giving you a standing ovation absolutely Um, that's the beautiful (laughs) thing that we've seen come out of this there's so many musicians like you you are able to do what you love at concerts and performing but yet you're still able to take the beauty of your music and share it with other people in your community and I just like Doc I'm standing up and applauding yeah that's amazing <laughs> well now you were telling me your connection to Chansey you've you've been all over Wyoming have you you've been in Casper I guess at some point I have been at Casper I've played at First Baptist in Casper actually awesome. uh, I did a concert there with our group High Road and it's been several years ago but uh, we love Casper well again we, we so appreciate you taking the time to visit with us, Sarah, if, if somebody wants to keep up with you and, and High Road, what's the easiest way for them to uh, to find out what you're up to? Well, we are on all the social media outlets, and uh, our videos are on YouTube. You can just look it up. Uh, High Road Music is our website, and everything is on there. And uh, we're just we have a lot of fun singing and playing. And uh, it's four girls. We play fiddle, mandolin, guitar, and piano. And we do old hymns and write our own stuff and just travel all over the world. So you can find us pretty easily online anywhere. That's amazing. We'll make sure we hook up everybody with uh, with links in our app later today and on Facebook. Thank you so much for your time. God bless you for what for for your your sweet heart and the gesture uh, and and I'm um, and the continued good work. We wish you nothing but the best moving forward. Yes, uh, thank well, you. Thank you guys. I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it and um, I I know that people are blessed by you sharing good news from all over uh, the country as we have this kind of a crazy time in our country.